Hi, I'm Jesse James Garrett, and I'm the lead designer of Aurora, the future browser concept created by Adaptive Path for Mozilla Labs. In this second scene, we'll see someone use a mobile device to access location-aware services on the web and invite friends to an event. After the scene, I'll be back with some commentary on the specific interactions that the scene illustrates. Well, at least we've had nice weather for our vacation. Well, mostly anyway. What do you want to do next? Let's see what's nearby. Where's that event calendar you found online before we left? Here it is. That's a lot. Let's narrow it down. There's an art exhibit a few blocks away. We've been on our own all morning. Let's do something more social. How about this wine and cheese tasting? Sounds good. How are we going to get there? MapQuest says we can take the shortest route, the most scenic, or the one with the most personal interest. We've got some time to kill. Let's see what it recommends along the personal interest route. There's a bike shop, which I'm sure you'll want to see. Oh, and look. It says this bookstore has a copy of the book on pottery that I put on my wish list last week. Sounds great. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Let's see if anybody else from the tour group is nearby to join us at the wine and cheese tasting. Let's see if Moira and Patrick want to come along. This scene looks at how awareness of the user's location might shape the experience of the web on a mobile device. In the spatial view at the beginning, location becomes another factor determining which objects are visible. The browser gives prominence to the vacation cluster because it knows that the users are away from home. The character Beth uses location data from the mobile device to help filter a long list of events. Representing the location data as an object in the frame gives the user direct physical control of which sites have access to that data. The mobile device presents an interface virtually identical to the one we saw on the desktop computer in the first scene. The proportions of elements have changed to accommodate both the smaller screen and the fact that users manipulate objects with their fingertips, not a cursor. The mapping site recommends routes based not only on location data from the mobile device, but also on personal data shared from other sites, such as a bookstore wish list. Beth pulls the event from the web page as a data object. This triggers purple highlights on every object in the frame that is a valid recipient for the event. Her friends are represented by a group object, which bundles multiple objects together into a single representation. The act of dropping the event object on her friends effectively invites them to the event. <laughs> 